What's that in front of us? Oh, look. oh yeah, that's interesting. Are those whale bones? That was my first thought, too. Oh, yeah, oh, those wow. are whale bones. Yeah, that's that's the ship. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Bridge the left side, you can see the vertebral column. And the mouth Hold on the left. Here. Oh, my God. Sweet. Oh, wow. Wow. Could we get lasers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pew, pew. Let me put them on. Let Obviously, it's big, but... <laughs> Coming across a natural whale fall is pretty uncommon. I mean, we, most of the whale falls that have been studied have been sunk intentionally at a certain spot and then studied over time. So it's pretty cool. That, that is a, such a rare thing to just stumble across. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, oh. whale falls are really great um, areas for a lot of biodiversity, especially yeah, over time. Yeah, for a zoom. Yeah, the communities can change um, depending on how much... Uh, how much content there is left in oh. the whale carcass. Huh. I wonder if those are the worms that grow out of the bones. Oh, oh, that the, the, oh what are those called? Ossidex. Um, Ossidex worms, yeah. Those are actually, yeah. So we did look at a whale fall last year, but it was one that was sunk on purpose as kind of an ecology study. Um, but this one, this one, I don't see any large anchor chains. So I'm assuming wow. it's natural. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so those worms, um, actually can burrow down into the bone and digest the lipids. Wow. Um, pretty cool. And some of them, a lot of the times what you see at the surface are actually all females. And then there are males living within the female. They're really weird species. <laughs> are they parasitic, the males? I think that they would technically be classified as parasitic because they live off of the female, um, all of her okay. circulating fluids, nutrients, everything. Sure. Um, but there can be I think it's something on the order of hundreds of males within a single female. Oh, God. Yeah. It's, <laughs> oh, God. I mean, but at the same time, it's not. It's, I don't know how What's parasitic happening? it really is if she's benefiting from oh, okay. and if they're having the same mates. Prefer <laughs> you than the ship. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, we have a question from a viewer at home. Any idea of how we can decipher what species of whale it is? I was just wondering that. It's a baleen species because of the jaw. Yeah. So yeah. it's not a toothed whale. Um, beyond that, uh, you need someone who knows whale skeletons <laughs> very, very well. Sometimes off vertebrae, you can get some better clues. I don't know if they need to actually physically have the vertebrae, but whale scientists tend to have to deal with carcasses um, frequently if in their studies, or that's a lot, large part of their job. So I assume that somebody can give us a nice ID off of this, or at least get us close. This one actually looks relatively small. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it could be, it could have been a juvenile or a smaller species. Wow, that was awesome. Great find. Uh, can we go like over it and then just back towards the jaw and then to get the other side and then leave? Yeah. For those of you just tuning in, yes, this is a a whale skeleton we just came upon. Um, wow, incredible shots here. It's nice that the visibility is good again. Right. It's curious how just that one jawbone has all of the life on it. I guess the maybe the base of the skull also has something growing inside. But yeah. Uh, that might be. I think that there tend to be more fat storages in huh. that part of the skull. So there might be more material that's still being digested there compared to other bones. Sure. Along the bone. Yeah, so it looks like um, nutrients might be fairly Mind well if I take a quick zoom? depleted from this guy. Again, going towards. That is a cool looking mushroom. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wiffle ball. Yeah. <laughs> what I knew I lost that? my wiffle ball. Mysterious white orb tip this week. <laughs> so that's not wow. something we want to see. I'm going to do a quick zoom uh, to get focus. Oh, look at that. That's oh. awesome. Oh, those pores are incredible. Oh, it almost okay, looks like cool. it's a type of anemone. Yeah, because it could be. So yeah, the base. Here, here, right. Oh, yeah. Is it possible that it's an anemone that's just kind of sucked its little tentacles back in right now? The one on the left looks similar. Maybe. Yeah. I guess we could have startled them, but wow. Golf ball anemone did not turn up any results. <laughs> <laughs> just FYI. <laughs> nice. Wow. Two mysterious orbs in two weeks. 
Just another day on the Nautilus. Almost exactly 10 centimeters in diameter. A little bit larger. Yeah, that looks might be more like some sort of coral than Nosidex to me, but. Yeah, that's that's definitely the yeah a coral the there. The purple, yeah, that's yeah. Nosidex. Yeah. It's just uh, using the whale as substrate. Yeah. All right, I think we can move on. Bridge now. We have more rocks to find. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that whale fall got in the way. Let's of a few get rocks. underway again. Um, bearing one zero zero degrees, zero point two knots.